Hello! Thanks for joining us. In this video, you'll learn how to work with icons for conditional formatting in Excel 2010. For this lesson, we'll be using the Employment Dataset. In a previous video, we introduced conditional formatting in Excel, which allows you to change the look of cells based on their values, or the results of a function or formula. In this video, we expand on the use of icons in conditional formatting. Color scales are great when you want to show the small variations in continuous quantitative data, but if you simply want to highlight three to five discrete categories of observations, using an icon is a much better idea. With icons, it's important to know that they only work with number, date, and time formats. So if you want to use an icon to represent text values, you may need to create a new row or column containing numbers to represent the different text. We'll start with a very simple example. Select the salary field in cells G2 to G100. Now click on the conditional formatting button. Hover over the icon sets selection to expand the menu. And here you will see all of the preset icon groups. If you don't want to use one of these presets, you can mix and match the individual icons. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. For now, I'm going to select the four icon red and black icon set. You can see that the icons have been applied so that red circles represent high salaries and black circles are low salaries. But what are the cutoffs for these icons? We can go to the Conditional Formatting Editing dialog box to see what these settings are. Click on Conditional Formatting, then choose Manage Rules, select This Worksheet from the drop-down menu, then select This Rule and hit the Edit button. In the Edit Formatting Rule dialog box, you can see that Excel's default for the four icon group is to separate the field into quartiles, where black represents the bottom 25% and red represents the upper 25%. But we could change those thresholds if we want by entering different percentages. Or we could enter specific values to create the thresholds by changing the types to number. Here we'll make the red icon represent salaries of 150,000 and up. The pink icon will represent salaries of 125,000 to 150,000. The gray icon will be used for salaries of 100,000 to 125,000. and the black icon will be used for salaries below 100,000. Notice that Excel automatically sets the value for the lowest value icon. Now click on OK and then click OK again to apply the new format. By using the icons, you can quickly see which salary category each employee falls into without having to read the more dense salary data. Another useful way to use icons in Excel is to establish differences between dates. Perhaps you want to know when a project is within a certain number of days of its due date. Or perhaps you want to know how long an employee has been with the company. Here we'll find out which employees have been with the company since before January 1st of the year 2000. I'll start by setting a date in the header of column I. One. 1, 2000. Then click on cell I2 and enter the following formula. Equals dollar sign I dollar sign 1 minus E2. 
This will compute the simple difference between the two dates. Now we'll select the cells from I2 to I100 and copy the formula down. This gives us the number of days between the employee's hire date and January 1 of 2000. Positive values mean they were hired before January 1st of 2000 and negative values mean they were hired after January 1st of 2000. Now we can apply conditional formatting icons to this field. This time so that we don't have to go back and edit our formatting, we'll do it all up front. Click on the conditional formatting button and select the new rule option. In the dialog box, select icon sets from the format style drop down menu. I want to use something different from simple colored circles, so I'll select a different icon set. Since I want to apply the icons based on how long employees have been with the company, we need to change the value types to number. Employees who have been with us the longest get the green check. Let's set this threshold to 365 days. This identifies employees who have been with us since at least one year before January 1st of 2000. We'll set the yellow icon to represent employees who joined the company during the year before January 1st of 2000, so we set the threshold greater than or equal to zero. And employees who joined us during or after 2000 get the red X. They have days that are negative numbers. Click on OK and then click OK again to apply the formatting. This formatting looks like what I want, but I would prefer to not actually see the numbers. Instead, I only want to see the icons. Fortunately, we can change this in the editing dialog box. Click through conditional formatting and manage rules to edit the formatting rule. In the editing box, check the box marked Show Icon Only. Then click OK and OK again to apply. Now only the icons are showing, and you can quickly see which employees have been with us since before the turn of the century. For our last example of conditional formatting with icons, I'll show you how to set up a dynamic field to alert you to employee anniversaries in the current month. Begin by inserting a new field at column F. I'll label this field Anniversary. Next, we need to determine whether the employee's month of hire is the same as this month. Click on cell F2 and enter the following formula. Equals if month of E2 is equal to month of today, then we'll use a 1, and if these two things are not equal, we we'll use a zero, close parentheses. I'll need to re-change the formatting of the cell to make it a number. And there we go. This formula will return a one if the employee was hired during the present month. I'm recording this in December, so we would expect only December hires to have a one. Select cells F2 to F100 and copy the formula down. Now we can apply our conditional formatting. Make sure the range from F2 to F100 is selected and add a new rule. 
Select Icon Sets in the Format Style drop-down menu. We want to apply a flag only to those employees who have a 1, indicating that it's their anniversary month. So change the value type to Number. Next, I'll make the first ICANN value be greater than or equal to a 1. Finally, since I don't want to use a green circle, I'll change the icon to be a red flag. Here you can choose any icon that's available. We only want the red flag icon for values of 1, so the other icons will need to be values of 0 and less than 0. I'll change the second icon value to 0. In fact, we don't really want these other icons to show at all, only the red flag. So we'll change the icons themselves to be no cell icons. Click on the icon and at the top you'll see no cell icon. This will leave the cell blank if its value is zero or less than zero. Last, I'll check the box for show icon only then click OK to apply the formatting. Now you can see there is a flag column indicating which employees have hiring anniversaries in the month of December. We'll need to be sure to at least send them a card. This has been an example of using icons with conditional formatting in Excel. In the next video, we'll go into more detail on using data bars for your conditional formatting. I'll see you in the next video.